welcome back to a new video. My name is I, and today I'll be showing off my Notion setup. Um, I just finished my orientation for senior high, and um, I'll be starting lessons this Monday. So I decided to make myself a Notion setup so I can be more organized this year, which is uh one of my new year's resolutions so yeah today i'll be showing you guys my notion setup and i hope you enjoy so this is the home page it's pretty basic um pretty simple i named it echo's journal and uh there's a picture of kazuha because he is my number one favorite character in genshin and I just have his quote right here. I like falling asleep on a warm rock that's been soaking in the mid-afternoon sun. And I find this really cute and funny at the same time. And it's actually his hobby. It's his hobby line. And under that, I have a mini map or my navigation system for my four other pages. As you can see right here, there's four other pages. Under that, I have a Spotify playlist <laughs> and under that I have another Genshin Impact themed um, thing so this is a gallery by the way I am still new to Notion and I don't really know much so there might be a lot of repetitive things here but here's my gallery I named it daily commissions as a reference to doing daily commissions in Genshin so this one is Inazuma, which is for my artistic and Japanese language culture studies. Um, don't have too much on the to-do list for now, but uh, maybe it might grow. Also, there's Kazuha here. I use Kazuha as an icon. Um, and then after that, Leo. And I have Xiao as the icon. And this is for my Taiwanese language practice. I have my checklist. And I have Monstat, which I use for my school checklists, and I use Venti. And the last one is Celestia, <laughs> which is used for my personal um, checklists. And I used Ether. And as you can see, I use the Animal Boys as the icons because I really, really love them. So our first page is this one. It says I. Uh, which is my name in Chinese and here I have my mood trackers this page is actually just filled with um, things I like or things to boost my mood um, mood trackers 2021 this is also a gallery and here I have uh, more Genshin Impact characters actually so this one's August and I used Amber because her birthday is in August and this is what the mood tracker looks like. I use the table view, and here I have the date, um, which you can change according to the current date you're filling it. And then here is the mood, so there are four mood options that I put. And over here is the a little bit of notes, so just a little notes place that I use. Maybe you could put to put down some notes. On uh, what happened that day that maybe made me feel the mood that I was in. And this one is September. I used Ayaka because birthday's in September. It's the same thing. And then I have October. I used Kazuha <laughs> again, of course, because um, his birthday is in October. And then for November, I actually used Lamine or the Female Traveler because um, my birthday is actually in November and I picked Lamine in the beginning of the game. I picked the Female Traveler and I love her. <laughs> the mood tracker is also the same. And then I have December and I used Tanyu uh, because her birthday is in December. And then under that, I have my favorite animes, 
which is Yuragusan and Hanako Kun, Hiroka and Horimiya. Under that, I have my playlist again. And then under that, my favorite foods, which is mochi, ramen, and boba. And then I have three more playlists that I play super often, actually. And this, I think it's like a poster or magazine cover. That's for the first page. This is Yansheng, which is, well, Genshin in Chinese. And as the page says, this is literally about Genshin Impact or my Genshin Impact. Um, first up, I have this, which is my team. And this is basically the team that I'm currently using. I have Chongyun as my main, Xingqiu uh, as his as like for a freeze comp freeze reaction and then I have Yunfei for pyro damage and Chung Li for my shield under that I have my Kenshin playlist beside that I have this it's a timeline from paimon.mo and honestly this is really really helpful it shows you the events that are currently happening and how much longer it lasts which is really useful for me <laughs> because uh, I tend to miss a couple of things and under that I have this another gallery and I named this Tabat Events which is actually just filled with um, it's kind of like a picture book yeah, a picture book of certain events that happened or like memorable things that happened because I have hundreds upon hundreds of pictures of Genshin Impact just maybe the scenery or just me taking pictures of other characters using my characters or with friends um, but yeah, this is the Windbloom Festival I also included the trailer in here and then there is Lumine and Venti. And Venti, obviously, more Lumine. And this unforgettable scene where he says, please. <laughs> then after that, I have the hangout events. But yeah, I have Tongin. This one is also so cute. Thank you, I was saying to read that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. Ah, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> And then next, the, our beloved Golden Apple Archipelago, the trailer, and this. So, the Wave Riders, this, Venti, of course, <laughs> and a picture with Albedo because um, we haven't seen him in a while, and uh, this is the only time he shows up again after you do his quest, and his event back then. But yes, I had to take a picture with him. And Venti summoning uh, Duvalin, our taxi. <laughs> and then, of course, the most recent one, which is the Inazuma 2.1 update. And, of course, a lot of Kazuha. And Goro. What a... I'm gonna just scroll quickly through this because I don't want to give spoilers for everyone who hasn't played it and honestly it made me cry a lot yeah so that's the second page on to our third page uh, this says 学生 and it means student in Taiwanese and this is for my academics because um, that's actually the whole reason why I started a notion. I want to be more um, productive and more organized. First up, first up, this is my task list. And this is actually linked up to this one, the one earlier from the Daily Commissions. This one. And if I tick something here and I go back to that, it'll also be ticked. So this is linked up and how I did it was I just copy pasted it but I linked it up so whatever I do here will also affect the original one. Under that I have my school schedule. Now I actually made this on my own featuring 
them, of course. <laughs> uh, this is my schedule. And this is the original one. Uh, I made my own, so I didn't have to look at the original one and think more. I just had to see which classes I had at what time. Um, which is easier for me instead of seeing the original one, which is... Which gets kind of confusing sometimes. Under that, I have these two, which is very important. The stuff is this one, which is my Microsoft Teams. It's kind of like Google Classroom, I could say. You can, uh, the teachers can give assignments there, can give Zoom links or announcements. So yeah, this is my Microsoft Teams. And under that, I have a quote. This is a quote by Shota Todoroki, of course. Todoroki Shoto. Shoto, my favorite character. And it says, what matters are actions. You have to show him what you're trying to prove. What you say doesn't matter near as much as you do. And then here, I have my Moodle. Which is a website made by the school, actually, I think. And it's also for um, submitting assignments. So we can also submit our assignments there. And above it, I have a picture of Hanako and Yashiro. And here's my study playlist. And under that, more Genshin Impact references. <laughs> I called this the Avengers Handbook because if you play Genshin, you know that that's where you see all your bosses, daily commissions. Blah, blah blah and everything else so here i have weekly boss which is for my homeworks and projects here's the one for the tasks and the status the status uh, which is waiting list doing draft and submitted here's for the subjects i haven't inputted the subjects uh, i will do it after i finish this video though and then next to it, the due date, which you can set, obviously, and you can also set a reminder. And under that is domains, or which is for my tests. And here, uh, I can also put the subjects, which is going to be the same as this one. And then about, so like, um, which chapters are it on, or what do I need to review, and the D-Day of the exam or test because obviously um, I will be having tests. There's no way I won't be having tests. For our final page, it's um, this one and it's Taiwan. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Oh no. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, this is Taiwan, which obviously um, you guys know what that is, it's Taiwan page specifically for my Taiwanese lessons and here uh, there's just two things uh, my checklist which again like um, the first one I showed you guys um, is linked up to the original one so this one is linked up to the Liyue one in the home page and under it I have a zoom link which I just cop I just copy and pasted and then I embedded it in here so if I want to start my meetings I can just launch meeting since uh, my lasher uses the same meeting all the time um, but as you guys saw just now I clicked on the page and it immediately brought me to the um, zoom meeting which is a I don't know if I could say it's an advantage or disadvantage um, sometimes I can't really um, just click on this for that, but since the checklist is here, I don't think I need to um, open it. I just need to open it when I have lessons, which I think is an advantage, so I don't have to um, find the link and try to join again. So that's it for my Notion setup tour. Of course, again, I'm still new to Notion. I don't really know much about it. Um, this is what I've learned about it so far. If you guys have any tips or anything you would recommend me to add into my Notion, please tell me in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you guys next video. See ya!